Something cool in the shop today. Stick around. In a world where everyone seems to be in a hurry, there is a place where things aren't quite as hectic. Here, a father and daughter have teamed up to breathe new life into relics from the past. Now it's time to meet Peyton. She's not your average teenager. Since she was old enough to hold a wrench, she's been in the garage learning the art of car restoration from her father, Chad, a seasoned Army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. With each new project, Peyton learns the values of hard work, patience, and the pride that comes with doing something yourself. In their garage, it's not just about the cars, it's about family, memories, and the love of the open road. Welcome to Honest Peyton's Speed Shop. right kids something cool happened remember that thing I said that uh, new equipment okay good all right one one dude in the back right Alan that's, that's cool man thanks for paying attention now, when I say something cool, I'm not just talking about this bad to the bone shirt. Because it's, it's creepy, right? I mean, you get it? Okay, so what I got needs to be opened. And uh, so I ordered this because I needed to upgrade a piece of equipment here in the shop. And um, talked to a few people and stuff, and this is what kind of was suggested to me. Let's see, it's gonna work. It's gonna. I need an adult. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to like go into like a <laughs> store <laughs> and just yell, "I need an adult." <laughs> and see what happens. No? Okay. So that? that kid said I wasn't funny, so I mean, you know, whatever. I'm not going to show you anything. Not showing. Still not showing. Oh, hey, whoa. Did you see it? No? Okay, good. Okay, look at that for a minute. Need to peek? That's fine. It's fine. Eh. Yeah, that's right, kids. Got us here at the Owens Peyton Speed Shop, a new welder. Now, this one is a gas welder. I ordered us the Arc Captain Make 200. Now, what this one will do, check this out. This is like a 47 and 1 tool. I'm all about get you know. Okay. Um, I'm all about getting more bang for my buck, right? You know. Now comes with a book. Hey, hey, hey. and some cards, warranty, warranty card. Just got to do the technological whatnot and then there's uh they have an app maybe okay i don't know and then stickers that's right speaking of stickers do you have enough Honest Peyton Speed Shop stickers in your life? If you don't, send us an email right here, whatever it, wherever I put it, up there maybe. Um, let's do a swap. Let's do a sticker swap. We'll swap stickers. That's what I send you, you send me. We... All right, anyway, come to the manual. Now, I don't have my glasses on, but I will be reading that. 
So the Art Captain 200 is a 220 and a 110 machine with the adapter. Now I am going to be putting a 220 outlet in here um, so I can use this one, but uh, not exactly sure when my electrician friend is going to be able to come and uh, we're hoping to end the next week. So this guy, right, now I'm not going to go through a whole lot of stuff with it right now, but of course it comes with ground clamp, gas line, it's for your gas, right, like that, right, got the torch, and we got some accessorized, tip and you know yep we got that right and it's a stick so here's the cool part it is a stick it is a lift tig lift tig now you might be saying well we, yes well there's a lift tig yep it is and uh here's the other cool part we still are going to be having this where i just gotta get that that feed fixed and we're not we're not getting rid of it um, also this one has some pretty fancy display it's got sync so if I do a setting it'll do the thing I'm gonna go through this more of course with you uh, when it comes time this also has the ability to use a spool gun for aluminum so um, I got this on sale on Amazon and then there was an additional coupon um, I will put a link to it. I'm not, they're not, we're not anything. I'm just going to show you what I got. Um, I'll put a, maybe there. So it does have, it does have a, a spot too, so you can set a time and just, and it'll auto, right? And then it's got modes and pretty cool. This is a new thing in the shop, along with my creepy shoe. Should we plug it in and see if it works? Okay, hold on. You guys always give me so much garbage about these uh, extension cords everywhere. I don't think anybody has. We're going to pretend you guys do. Okay? Especially Jeremy. So we're going to plug this guy in, right? Plug him in. Now we're not going to, there's an outlet or an outlet. Over there. I'm going to turn it on. Get it? Come on, get in here. Now the fan only kicks on when it needs it, so it's not the constant noise, it's too. So, you know, it's pretty cool. It's set up at MIG right now. There's your volts, there's your amps, and then, um, your wire speed so we can set all that stuff up when we get into the manual but we're going to be using this from now on um, I've got to go to the welder supply and get a bottle this does do flux core too so I, I we can uh, try it out and we're going to be do doing that here uh, coming up in this video later we're gonna set this up as a flux core and then we're just gonna weld some stuff and, and see how it goes because um, this one wasn't cheap. Um, it was like $350. And um, that was with the coupon and to being on sale. This is normally like 500 bucks. So we got a pretty good deal. And I want to say thank Midnight Customs for the recommendation on this machine. Uh, he and I talked to him. I said I was thinking about getting this one. He, he said he loves it. So. Um, so we're going to compare this as a flux core to the titanium and just see how what the difference is. So uh, we're going to be using the same stuff, which is pretty neat. Um, anyway, well, yeah, this is the Arc Captain MiG 200. Can you see it right there? We're going to shut it off. See, you hear that fan that came on? It came and shut off. All right. All right. So what we got going on? If you saw, watch last time, it's still on here, but that's because. We are going to be metal working this. G 
few spots. And then we're gonna take, and we're gonna wire wheel this to get it as cleaned up as we can before we finish taking this off. And you know, Peyton and I might just fill around with it and just take it off. Um, she was saying that she's mine. She's like, hey, check it out. She wouldn't mind using the grinder. So, stick around for the head-to-head -head battle of the, the flex core versions, version of that versus titanium. And if I can get the Yes Welder going, we're going to do that too. So, um, anyway, stick around for all that cool stuff. We got that coming up here in just a little bit. Um, all right, we're back. Before I get going on anything, I want to say that I think you guys should check out Hickey's Custom Resto. It'll be down in the thing, of course. Check them out. That's just all there is to it. Not right now, but... So what I did was, I'm just going to show you here. Let me bring you around for a second. You guys good? Okay. So what I did was I got the Art Captain set up. Now, it's got two tubes here to open up. I almost fell down. Don't do that. No. I got some 030 wire. There was already a, um, a dude, die, groove guy, this in here. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I got that 030. It had um, 035 and 030. Um, really, push this through. There is a, this really cool, so for it does hold the bigger one. It's got this and then an adapter right here. It pushed through easy. Went right there. I didn't even adjust this. Just put it in there. And then I will say that this gun and then the cable is very, see, look, check yourself. Very sturdy, very heavy duty. I like it a lot um, compared to the others, the other ones that I have. Now, this one actually told you how to do the polarity. It said put a positive, put the clamp um, for no gas, the clamp on the positive, which I did. Um, and it's just right there and it's, it's labeled too, right here, positive. So it was right there. And then, um, <laughs> we don't need to worry about that guy right now. So we will eventually, but not today. So, um, and then it, it uh, I'm going to get the machine set up, but what I'm going to be doing is, uh, I mean, very, very easy to set up. I'm going to be. Uh, the foreman wants me to make a uh, dragonfly. So she started on this part here, and then she wants me to do the wings. So I'm going to do these right here, right now. So let me get the machine set up a little bit, and then um, I'll show you what I had to do as I get ready here. I just simply set up just, uh, I just hit sync. It's got 030 wire, and basically it's at 16 volts, 59 amps. And then I press the, the spot. So we're gonna see what that does, just because, hey, this is cool. And I've just got the other, the wire speed that's standard. So, I mean, I just, basic, just basic setup thing. Right there, right there. Now that's asking for gas, so we can't have gas, right? Right there, see? I don't have to worry about that because then the gas isn't there. If I want to turn the sink off, I just press it and it comes off. Okay. Let me get set up. Let me get set up. Okay, one thing I didn't show you is that I have to uh, press here. Whoops. Hold on a second. One second. I'm not, it's my first day. So I mistakenly hit the, the sink button. So anyway, to turn it off. So check this out. You press right here and it show, it gives you... The kind of shielding you're going to be doing flux we're going to be doing 030 it's given me kind of a setup i'm going to just roll with that and see what happens um and i've got and i'm going to set the the um spot yeah now that i can speak so i'm gonna get and then yep okay so um i did forget to <laughs> Yeah, uh, that was the only thing I didn't do. Yeah, I, hopefully. <laughs> I was like, what did it? I'm like, oh yeah. Mm. So, we're doing this without a net right now. And I'm not kidding you. See what I did? 
I took the shielder, the nozzle off, the gas nozzle, I don't need it right now. So let's see. I like that. Maybe I got a little bit of ground. Let's see. Pretty cool. I'm going to fiddle with the ground here. Yep, had a bad ground because uh, there was some rust build up. So let's try it again. Here we go. Huh? Hit the wrong button, so now I gotta do the right button. I got my glasses on, so don't pick on me. Let's see. Go right here. That's not bad, kids. Look at that. I'm not letting off, it's just doing it. Let's clean this up and take a look. All right, so here's the scoop. We got the girls right there. Oh, we gotta give the form in my helmet because she can't reach the one that, actually the one she's supposed to be using. <laughs> yes, so what we have, Peyton said she wanted to try that spot function. And so it's on the spot function, it's on sync. We're just waiting for the foreman to put her helmet ready. Who has my gloves too? Good thing I have these. I know what to get her for her birthday. Oh, our anniversary's coming up. Welding helmet and gloves. <laughs> Don't think I won't. All right, Peyton. Mom, you ready? All right, Peyton, let me get this down so they can see. So she's using the spot function. Go ahead. Ready? See that? Just me. And then you let the, your, tr your finger off the trigger and squeeze it again. And then it'll spot. Let it go. I, I'm really, I really am excited about that feature. I think I like this one a little more. Yeah. All right, let's have mom switch with you and mom wanted to try the regular. You see what's going on here? I lost my, gla my helmet. So I got the mad scientist on. Who's crazy now? All right, the foreman's finally gonna do some work out here. <laughs> it's on her project that I was doing, so. She's gonna, this is just uh, regular free welding. Welding! <laughs> I'm scared. Yep, thoroughly scared. Not. Did you miss? Nope. <laughs> Not. The last time there was a mulligan. No. Look at that. All right, let's uh, let's get in close, kids. <laughs> All right, so Peyton did here, and then quit right away. No. <laughs> Are you welding? Yep. Exactly. <laughs> this is the foreman's right here. Right there. All the way down. Oh, wait, it's down here. It's telling me to move back. I am not moving back. I will move in. But see that it? was really easy to use. It was like All right. So, say that again, because we're going to tag our captain in this. It was really easy to use. I could see the tip. I could bridge that easily, and uh, this is like the third time I've welded. So. <laughs> this is like my 24th, I don't know. <laughs> what did you think of that, that spot feature? 
it was I like that one. It'll come in really handy for when we're working on that. Yeah. All right, kids. So what are your thoughts on the new Art Captain Meg 200? Yep. I want you to finish my project. <laughs> It'll be nice to use. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't really need to finish your project since you said it's so easy to use. I'm going to go in the house and eat ice cream. Well, okay, can we I grind that one off? Okay. Just... All right. Well, you heard it right from the, the leadership crew. What are you doing? Grinding off my welds so they can't see how good they are? <laughs> A grinder and paint make me the welder I eat. That's what you've got going on. <laughs> I get an A for effort. Well, okay, you saw the foreman use it, you saw Peyton use it, and you saw me use it. Now, I was just learning. I taught, I told them a little bit about what you do. They just took to it. I'll tell you what, um, and actually, I'll show you something. So, Melissa wanted to make a dragonfly, and she wanted to, you know, well, she did all these. Look at how good they are. We didn't clean them up. We didn't do anything. She didn't want them cleaned up. And she kept them right in that groove. And then even back here, where she just tacked them, she did great. Now, it's two people better than me at the house. Not letting the cat out here, I'll tell you that for free. But anyway, we could not be happier with our Art Captain MiG-200 now. Like I said, this is just, I bought this. And uh, I'm telling you, we are very pleased with it. Um, this was just flux core in 110. We didn't even hook up 220. Um, I can't, I can only imagine what it's going to be like when we actually have the gas in there or we try other stuff. Um, now this is actually, it is very sturdy. It's very well built. The only thing is that <laughs> it's kind of a hair trigger. So you got to watch, make sure you have your mask down just in case when you're getting ready, you bump, you don't bump it. Um, but very cool. We uh, branded it with Honest Peyton Speed Shop. This happens to be our last yellow sticker. Um, we're going to get ordered some more, though. Um, anyway, our captain, make 200. Honest Peyton Speed Shop approved. Keep on wrenching.